Hey guys, welcome to a new video. I'm Minecraft Trekkie. This is a little world edit tutorial type of thing. I'm gonna get away from the mic a little bit. Um, I think you guys should really know world edit is just a great tool to have. I wouldn't be able to make my shifts without it. I would, but I'm just too lazy to do it without it. My, my computer's really noisy. Sorry about that. There's my fan controller drivers aren't installed at the moment. I sort of uninstalled them, I don't know why, so I have a desktop fan cooling it off. So that's a thing. I think it works good. Cooling so pops aren't even hot. Okay. I'm gonna show you a few things. I'm gonna list them out for you. The wand tool, copying, undoing, redoing, copying and flipping. Generating shapes, stacking, mm, different types of selections, um, making walls, setting things, and re setting things to blocks, and replacing. Those are pretty good. So, yep. That's, yep. Okay. I'll see you then, and on to the first lesson. Okay, first lesson. That's the wand. So that should be easy enough second there we go I just had to remove a, a file right there okay so I'm going to show you the command up on the screen as I write it so wand this is going to be a very hard video to upload so I'm sorry if I was late so it's slash slash w a n d you get a wooden axe or a drag order in my case CUI is a great mod to have. I'll give you a description of everything you'll need to get this mod. So just you do that. And there's basic selecting. That's just one type of selection. So this is this type of selection is slash s s e l. Just gonna put it up there. Correctly. That will make a generate a, a rectangular box from point A to point B. Now, the second type is poly. Select poly. This is useful if you don't also want to select, say, this block, but it's between these and th this and this. So I'll just another one is select and cancel selection. So I can go from here to here, to here, and I'll select everything in there, there we go, there's a polygon, so if I just slash slash, whoops, ignore that, if I do slash slash delete, whoops, set air, only those will be affected, but not the blue block. So let's just hope we're not going too fast. But if I just undo it real quick, yeah, slash dash undo and redo. If I go to cube wide, I just said slash slash cube wide. I have it macroed. Then do the same thing. Set air. It allows to delete the blue block, which is a very useful tool. So, I'm just going to do that, and end the selection, there you go. My next bit of tutorialism is the copy tool, so, see you there. Hey guys, back again, um, here's the copy tool, so, what the copy tool is, it will copy, why am I even explaining this, it's super obvious, okay, so, very important thing about copy tool is a point of reference. So, let's put a blue block right here and a another one over here. Actually, I'll make them green for better visibility and less color matching. Okay. So, if I do copy, I just showed you the copy command up there and paste. That's a no brainer. I can just copy it over there. 
I, I use this all the time. It's a very great tool. The stack command pretty much does that, but it will do it in a series. I'll just undo that. I can stack it. Stack. You can either say direction, north, south, east, west, forward, back, left, right, up, down, or you can you can just say stack a number, stack ten, and it'll just go in the direction you're pointing. So I'm pointing north, and it'll stack north. That's a very useful tool. I can stack it, stack ten up. Left, east. I love this tool. Okay, I'm done with that. Okay. I'm trying to make this a pretty DHD video so you can see actually see what's going on, even though I'm going to put it up on the screen. So here's an, another nifty tool. You can mirror things. So. This is my voice here. Okay. Do slash slash copy. You point in the direction you want to mirror. So if you want to mirror it across the, let's say north and south are line. Okay, north and south are line. Look at my cursor. A line is going from here to here. Imagine that's a line. That's the axis. It's going to flip around. So this is your where the line starts. It goes from all the way down there, all the way down there. It's the best way I can explain it. Okay. So I just do copy. Flip tool. You gotta do this, otherwise it's not gonna work. And then just paste it again. Actually spell it right, unlike me. There. It overlaps this block. If you look. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Actually, it's a CUI tool. I think it's CUI or World Edit. I'm not sure. We'll actually measure this for you. 10 blocks, 10 blocks, it says it right there, 10 blocks, like if I select this, it will say like 3,000 blocks, 1,000, not very good at math, yep, so, and that, and undo that, my computer is pleading for mercy, it needs cooling, It must be at least 3,000 RPM, I don't know, it's really loud. Okay, I can also mirror this way. Now it's an east-west mirror, so I should cut just like this. Copy, flip, paste. It mirrored over there. Or I can move. And paste it here inside the ground. If you don't want to do that, you can do. It's a very convenient tool. I think Minecraft uses a lot. You can do paste, but after that, space, subtraction sign, and then A. That'll paste every single block but air, so it doesn't cut a hole in the ground. Okay. Next one is. The cut command. Now the yeah, the cut is more basic than rotate. So, I think I already showed you this. Cut just cuts it. That's a no-brainer. And paste it. Yeah, that's that's really explaining. This one is a neat tool. I can stand on top. Say, copy, rotate. Whoops, forgot to give it a parameter. 90 degrees. And paste. If I keep doing that, it'll eventually make a circle. Oh, whoops. Well, uh, just fix this. Forgot to do the minus A command. Oh, Jesus. Hey guys, I'd like to apologize for what just happened there. I am saying it just happened. Stop paying attention to the L. You should never, 
ever rotate rotate symmetry and L shape just never do that by the top just never okay don't make that same mistake I just made okay anyways let's do some just do some shape generation okay the first one is just a basic circle so let's make a circle so try stone whoops that was not very yeah stone I can't type okay it's H cell H C Y L I'll make a hollow cylinder make it stone eight that just makes a circle now if I want to bring that circle up I can do stone eight eight five it'll break it eight, five up just gonna undo that both times want to make a weird okay these two values right here I'll just show you what values up on the screen these two values right here those are X and Y or south and west if you want to say that or southeast west value so if I want to do 10 20 separated by a comma no spaces between that I can make an oval so I like the enterprise just kidding okay that's a good thing to know now let's make a sphere it's pretty much the same thing but it requires if you want to make a perfect sphere it's also you just do H cell and it'll be all filled in the compass tool will let you pass through things just just get a compass with the mod and it'll work whoops that's how it's all filled in you gotta get a new thing okay I need to stick to like eight circles they can be really big though I've made one like 2000 wide before my computer hated me it didn't want to talk to me after that so the command for this is H sphere but unlike me you actually have to spell it right okay make it a stone just make it it's these values are radiuses so don't make them too big because it just doubles it eight if you want to be perfect just give it one value and there's a circle I mean a sphere if I want to make it 8 by 20 by 15 I can do that I miscalculated which direction those are but I'm not really sure how that goes just makes a perfect um, makes a perfect captain's yacht on the Enterprise D that's what it looks like doesn't it? yeah that's a captain captain's yacht off the Enterprise D that's cool okay there goes a skeleton or a or a shade I think yeah that's a shade or whatever you call them I'm not well versed in those new guys Let's just grab let's just make a quick selection here doesn't matter how big it is okay that's pretty big but oh well you can set a selection to a material like set to wool it'll make it wool or you can do slash slash wall stone that'll make it into a wall. I always forget that's wall, not wall. What's wrong with me? I can't type.
Gotta get rid of this. Ah! I'm not in the right mind right now. It's late. There we go. That's a lot better. Okay, there's some walls. Now for replacing. This is gonna be the last lesson. And before I'm gonna let you guys go. Okay. It's replacing. Let's say I wanna replace wool. Wool with I don't know. Sponge. Wait, is that even wool? Is that wool? Oh, it's stone. Okay. Replace stone. By the way, you can use block IDs if you want. If you don't want to use their names, it can get tedious. I'll give you an awesome site to find their block IDs. I can't type stone. Yeah, that just makes it places all the stone. And this is a really great thing to do. Watch this. Okay. Replace stone. I'm going to give you just shoot off a bunch of block IDs. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Yeah, that's cool. That's a great thing to do. Just gonna give it more. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. That was a total disaster. Yep, I think that's gonna end this video. You got a mess to clean up. I'll see you later. And. Bye.